Hi, I'm here at the Solid Terrain Modeling booth, and uh, this company, which was started by Mark Fisher, who's here with me, uh, is in the business of making um, 3D models of terrain, uh, but it's a slightly different process than many of you have seen. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mark, and then he'll explain what he does and how it's different. Very good. Thank you, Art. So what we do, as Art mentioned, is a little bit different than uh, the traditional 3D printers you might be hearing about now. We manufacture physical terrain models from geospatial data sets. So if you've ever seen something like Google Earth, we take that same type of data they use, but we make a physical piece. You can touch, you can write on it, you can use it for group communication meetings or briefings. The way we make them <clears throat> is that we start with a large block of polyurethane foam. We carve that using custom CNC equipment to expose the surface of the terrain. We then apply some coatings to the surface that makes it just like a piece of paper and place that into our custom CNC inkjet printer that flies the print heads right over the surface of the bumpy terrain to print the image directly onto that surface. It's very accurate and it's very uh, fast compared to tr traditional modeling methods of uh, carving and hand painting. So. Um, we can make them just about any size, any shape, any scale, anywhere that there's digital data available for terrain surfaces. We've even made some pieces that are uh, of Mars. So um, again, just about anywhere you'd want to have modeled. Now, in addition to using them as they are, because the models are static, we also offer a, a video projection system, and we have a small demo here at the show that allows you to put real-time data back onto the surface of the model. And Art, I would direct your attention down here. We have a small simulation that's running <clears throat> that shows real-time data being placed back on to the elevation data set here. So this allows you to show, for instance, uh, where people are located uh, in a mining situation. You could say, here's where all of the vehicles are, here's where the work is happening, here's where our workmen are. You can show location of aircraft. Any type of data that you wanted to show that's real time can then be placed back on top of that physical piece. It's a communication technology that allows for groups of people or individuals to gather around. They get it immediately. There's no training involved. And it's truly a unique way to talk about the use of land and uh, anything that's happening on the terrain surface.